the living thing that moves upon he the earth. He speaks to them in a spirit realm. Yes, and he spoke to them, their spirits, when they were one. And what Hollywood is doing, Hollywood is programming people at that point of climaxing to just curse and mm. to, to just shout. Yes. And to make sex look like just for fun. After I've climaxed, I can go shooting another person and, and mind my other business. Like, yeah. you know, and then go, and go with another girl, cheat on this one and do this. And What fight. Hollywood does is just to forsake the sacred. Yes. To desecrate that which is sacred. But that That's is the true. time when you're supposed to pray and, and declare, make declar declarations and, and have visions and as have a family. visions of it's where the future of the family is headed. Yes. It is sacred. Yeah. So God gave the dominion mandate to Adam while he and Eve were still one. So it is at that moment during climax of the husband and the wife that Adam is achieved and the dominion union is accomplished again and Adam can proceed to fulfill the original plan of God which was started inside of God himself. That's a big deal. This is why there is so much energy released at that moment of climax because that moment was born in God. And mankind catches a glimpse of the love that God has inside of him and how powerful love is and how beautiful love feels and how explosive love is. In that moment, it is not just an experience of the joy that God feels, but it is also an opportunity to wield the power of God in order to do God's will. God's will yeah. And God's will is clearly written, be fruitful, multiply, multiply. replenish the earth, subdue, subdue it and have, have dominion. dominion. Over the fish of the sea, that's over the entire marine kingdom. Yes. Over the fowl of the air, that's over the heavens. And the principalities and, and, the and, principalities powers. and powers. And over every right. living thing that moves upon the earth. Yes. So if it moves upon this earth. Even an alien. Yeah. So in other words, you're supposed to be the boss. You're supposed to be in charge. Now, the sad part is that according to the American Psychological Association, 40 to 50% of marriages in the United States end in divorce. Now, the definition of divorce is to literally dissolve marriage. But the word dissolve means with reference to a solid. It means uh, become or cause to become incorporated into a liquid so as to form a solution. Yeah. Another way is to fragment. Mm-hmm destroyed it is uh, set apart so that rate only increases with the second and third marriages so divorce in american culture has become an epidemic with nearly half of marriages ending in divorce now we showed you last time how pornography addiction increases the like likelihood of adultery by 300 percent so pornography in america and throughout the world is the number one enemy of a godly marriage. marriage. Yeah, it's the number one enemy. Mm. According to the American Psychological Association, infidelity, cheating, or adultery in the United States accounted for 20 to 40% of divorces. That's almost half of all divorces. And the other reasons have, uh, the other reasons for divorce have smaller percentages. So this is the big one. So it's easy to see the number one enemy of marriage in America and the world is this class A drug called pornography mm -hmm. um do you know that porn is an ancient babylonian sex magic psychological operation and it is deployed to influence billions of people to accept and obey the illuminati agenda therefore it is a weapon of mass destruction facilitating the evil agenda against mankind and creating many mind control slaves it's one of the main ways that satan is controlling the minds of masses of people remember that in it is in marriage that dominion against satan and his kingdom of darkness is executed efficient efficiently that's why even the image of christ and the church is replicated in, in marriage, marriage. yeah that's why that's why, i mean god loves marriage and he hates divorce because it was created marriage was created inside of him and Satan yeah. loves divorce and he hates marriage. He yes. hates marriage. He That's hates. That's why he brings divorce. Yeah. yeah. Because divorce is a tool to break up marriage that he, what was meant to bring glory to God. Yeah. So when you, when you see marriages being destroyed, you are witnessing the destruction of the godly dominion of Adam on the earth and the destruction of the family unit, which is the core of any community, city or nation. 
So Satan's strategy to bring humanity into a new world order, filling the earth with abominations and hybrids and returning the earth into the days of Noah is what you are witnessing with this pornography industry and this iniquity that is taking place. Remember what Jesus said about the days of Noah in Matthew 24? He said, but as the days of Noah were, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So in the days of Noah, they were marrying and giving in marriage. But marriage started in God. Why is he complaining about marriage? It's the kind of marriage that was taking place during the days of Noah. It was the defiling of marriage. It was the defiling of humanity. It was the mix. It was the taking of the seed of man and mixing that seed with animals, mixing, splicing DNAs and man perverting the creation of God. Yeah. Man identifying as an animal. Yes. That's why, that's why you're seeing you're seeing it coming back slowly. A girl in classroom identifies herself as a cat, and they give her a kitty litter in the in the in the corner, just in case she wants to go and 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 help herself or or, or use the bathroom. You know what I mean? Like as a cat, she identifies as a cat and and can communicate like that in the classroom, and they're allowing it. Why? Because this is what's coming. This is doing the same meowing. Yes. Yes, this is what's coming. The hybridization of things. They'll they'll take the seed of man. The Bible says in Daniel, they mingled themselves with the seed of men. What does that mean? They're, they're going to take your, your sexual immorality. They're taking that energy. They're harvesting it. The seed of men, they're taking that energy and they're harvesting it because that same energy was what was, what was used by God to take the soil and make that into a man. It was sexual energy. It was that same energy that that man is has been charged with stewarding. Now the enemy wants to take that energy and he can use it to create beings, to create bodies for beings, and those beings are what we're starting to see. Um, you know, they're trying to introduce it to us through movies like Paul, through movies, uh, through series, or through people. And people have had encounters encounters with these beings. And they're the and the government is still slowly starting to come out and talk about them. And can you believe some of the celebrities we thought were ladies are transgenders? Yes. Some in the entertainment, others are first ladies. Yes. First ladies. Mm -hmm. First you know, men. But, but they are first men, you know. Abominations. But, yes, abominations. And and you've been thinking that Those are you, the I've been wondering the so kind of energy some so called female celebrities have on stage. You can tell a woman when they are performing and a man dressed as a woman when they are performing. There's a certain kind of energy that men have because we are weaker vessels. Even if a woman goes to the gym, there is a certain kind of uh, um, limit to their performance but even if it's if and if it's hip hop even if it's dance or even if they're dancing or, or singing there's a woman is limited like there is a certain even if they are using all their energy they, there are certain things they can do but when you look at the female so-called female celebrities <laughs> entertainers the energy the amount of energy that they have is of a man who goes to the gym and eats well let me put it that way. <laughs> yeah. So let's look briefly at there's, you know, even some of the intelligence community is involved heavily in pornography. We know that the CIA's had a secret quest for mind control, torture. They were using LSD, which is a class A drug. Um, and, you know, they had they have been key in the production, the mass production of this evil. The intelligence communities of the U.S. and other nations are working directly with the kingdom of darkness to ensure that the public become over-sexualized porn brains or junk food brains or entertainment brains or addicts of various vices. This is the easiest way to bring the whole world into a new world order and Satan will be in the position to rule the world as he always planned. A woman by the name of Tracy Toyman wrote a book about mind control slaves which are products of CIA operations. Now, according to the testimony of experts and survivors, the CIA utilized all of these elements and more for their top secret Project Monarch, 
part of the MK Ultra Mind Control Program. It's important that people know what is MK Ultra, what is this Mind Control Program, because um, what they do is that they traumatize an individual to the extent that their mind, in an effort to preserve itself, it fragments. And then when the mind fragments, they can put a spirit inside of the fragmented mind. Mm -hmm. In other words, it, 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 it fragments into compartments, into mm -hmm. like rooms. You mm -hmm. can compare them to rooms. It used to be one room, but now it's two. Now yeah, another trauma. Yeah, another trauma. Now there's three or four rooms like that. Now those different rooms can be occupied by spirits. So now under the right conditions, you can command one of the spirits to take over the body and that person can go off and do uh, you know sex 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 work or do whatever they want them to do and the person can come back from doing that and when their right mind comes back they don't even remember what they, they did two personalities or more than two multiple pers personalities, personalities. yes yeah. exactly mind control mind control and they can do this also with soldiers Yes. So for reasons of national security, dozens, if not hundreds of people, many of them children, were allegedly subjected to unimaginable rape, torture, and bloody satanic rituals with the aim of fracturing the human mind through trauma. This created multiple personalities that could then be programmed to perform specific tasks. These tasks include mass shootings that are taking place regularly to make people afraid enough to pass laws that outlaw gun ownership. Many of the purported victims say they were used to satisfy the sexual urges of the rich and powerful, even U.S. presidents. Now, you can see why they're doing these mass shootings in various, especially in the U.S. They're, you're always hearing about mass, mass shootings. Those are MK Ultra. Those are monarch programming people that, that, they, that they fragment their minds. They program them. They tell them, go out and, and start killing. And, and what is the end? What is the purpose? So that people will start believing that gun ownership is a bad thing so that they can take away the guns from the american people because if you take away our guns then we can't defend ourselves if the government goes rogue if the government goes crazy the number one defense that the population has is their weapons, their weapons yeah. yeah so if you disarm the people you know what's coming after disarmament what's coming next invasion it's totalitarian control, dystopian control. So we know that's what's coming, but they need to create a problem, which is the gun, which is the people coming in and, and kill. The helpless person. Yeah, they want to create a problem so that they say, now the solution to this is gun control, or to, the solution is to take your gun. But if somebody comes in here with a gun, the best thing to do, one of the best ways to defend yourself is to actually have a gun yourself. Yes. <laughs> so that you can defend yourself against this gunman. Because now, if, if you don't have a weapon, well, what's he's, what is he going to do? He's going to come in and massacre everyone. So, you know, there's, this, is the, this is the debate that's ongoing, but they want to disarm people. So, for these purposes, the CIA is said to have sought help from intergenerational cults, as well as child pornography, pornography snuff films. You know, snuff films are when they have a child in there. They're abusing the child sexually and then they kill the child. You know, the, we were talking about the porn brain and how it goes into deeper levels of depravity. And now what used to please you before can no longer please you. You need work They're abusing the child sexually and then they kill the child. You know, the, we were talking about the porn brain and how it goes into deeper levels of depravity. And now what used to please you before can no longer please you. You need worse and worse. So people descend into a place where now they need to see a child being killed in order to have to, to receive the same amount of pleasure that they received before. They're sick. When that person is in that state, if he does. Oh, yeah. The, and there's a lot of them who are in that place. And they're in yeah, positions, in yeah, in, yeah, in positions of power. So as thousands of people were bought and sold on the underground sex market, the government supposedly looked the other way, seeing it not as an atrocity, but as an opportunity. So what is happening in the world is as a direct result of satanic networks raining down filth mm. all over the world and is part of the strategy of Satan's yeah, new networks. world order. Yeah, and it's part of Satan's new world order. So if your spouse or your loved one is an addict, you need to help them break the cycle and you can help them by understanding what they're up against because a lot of times they don't understand what they're up against. People are, you're doing porn, you don't understand what you're contributing to 
you don't understand that you're you're now a part of human of some mind control programming that comes directly from the kingdom of darkness and a lot of these actors in these uh porn films there some of them are not 100% human we've already shown you that the enemy can splice dna we already know from genesis chapter 6 that the fallen ones the fallen angels the benai elohim came down and had sex with human women and they gave rise to what to to beings that became that grew into giants and those were the giants in their days and they and they might not be just giants in physical size they might be giants of intellectual capacity i explained in one of our documentaries about the girl claudia who had children mm -hmm. but in the marine kingdom yes I, I